Hi, I'm Denny. I'm with the CS team at Figured, and today we're going to take a look at the tools menu in your livestock tracker. The tools menu can be found at the top of your tracker, labeled Tools. In this drop down, you'll find a shortcut to your management valuations page, your importing and exporting functions, as well as your auto aging functions. The auto aging function automatically takes the opening stock class numbers and ages those into the corresponding stock class. This can be run on both an actuals and forecast basis to save you time when doing end of year reconciling and building out your um, year's forecast. For this demo, I'll run mine on a forecast basis and that's going to give me this pop-up menu here. This is letting me know that by running the aging tool that it's going to overwrite any existing aging transactions that I've entered. It's also letting me know that the aging transactions that it creates are going to be created for the first day of my forecast year. When I hit the yes button, that's going to automatically save those aging transactions for me, which you can see here. If you plan on using the aging tool as part of your end of year reconciliation, we recommend running the aging tool before you enter any other stock class movements. This will allow you to have a full picture of which of how much of each stock class you have before entering those other stock movements. Next, we'll take a look at the importing and exporting function. You can export the data from within your livestock tracker, whether it be for record keeping or you can re-import the file as a starting point when building your forecast. When using the export tool, you're going to first choose the year's data that you want to export you're going to choose what type of transactions you want exported, whether that's all transactions, so that's going to be both actuals and forecast, just forecast transactions, or just actuals. In this instance, I'm going to be exporting my 2022 year, just the forecast transactions. I can then give the file a name and choose the format in which it's going to export. I also have the option at the bottom to email a copy of the file that gets exported as well. So I'm going to hit the download button that's going to export the data and save it as a file. Once that's done, I'm going to pop back into my tools menu and choose the import option. So in this instance, I'm taking last season's forecast and I'm importing it as this season's forecast to build my annual plan on. So same as when you're exporting, you're going to choose the year in which you're importing the data into and whether you want that imported as actual transactions or forecast transactions. This option here is going to adjust the dates if needed to suit this season versus last season. And you also have the option to keep any existing transactions or delete existing transactions. So for example, if I already had some transactions entered into my annual plan, I have the option to keep those or overwrite them with the new data. In this instance, I'm going to overwrite mine. Then I'm going to choose the file that I just exported and click the import option. Now that that's done, you can see here that it's given me a summary of information. It's only skipped one file, and if there were any errors, they'd show here. If I want to see the reason the file was skipped, I can click on messages here, and that's just indicating that one the header row was skipped. So now that I click done, that's going to update my tracker page with all of the imported data, as we can see here. 